it's uh, been several hours now. Uh, I've got uh, probably five or six coats of uh, urethane on my uh, brick. And I sanded it a couple times. It's nice, nice smooth surface now. Um, basically, what I was concerned about is, is just this is a very porous subject, and uh, what I wanted to do was I, I just wanted to. Uh, Fill in all the little pits uh, so, so that uh, the, the plastic didn't wrap. Uh, uh, you know, when you, you go over it with the verithane, it fills, fills in a pit. Then you go over it with uh, another layer, it fills in a little more. And eventually you, you come up with a nice flat surface. And, and that's what uh, we're, we're, we're doing pretty much there. Like, I mean, for all practical purposes, it's a brick. You know, you know, like, you know how flat are you going to get it? But uh, it, it, it's. Uh, Pretty smooth surface considering it's a brick, and uh, you know, thus I'm going to have an easy time releasing, and uh, I shouldn't have any issues at all. Now I'm just waiting for my hot glue gun to uh, warm up here. Uh, it looks like it's uh, just about there. Okay. Um, what we're going to do next here now? We're going to take our uh, our brick. I've got a sheet of melamine now again. That's so that the uh, the plastic doesn't sink the plastic. Uh, and, uh, basically, all we're going to do, we're just going to uh, take our, our hot glue here and okay. This is not quite warm enough yet. <laughs> okay. Anyways, what we're going to do, we're we're just going to hot glue the uh, the brick to uh, the melamine and then once that's uh, set in place then we're going to uh, take uh, the, uh, the plasticine clay. Uh, now this is a, no a non-sulfur plasticine clay. It's uh, used for uh, mold making. Um, the, the reason you don't want uh, sulfur in your clay is because sulfur causes a chemical reaction with latex and it makes your rubber go really really hard uh, you, you, you don't want that um, so well that, that's basically how tires are, are made uh, at the factory they take latex rubber and they mix it with sulfur and it makes a nice hard tire uh, nice hard rubber which is good for tires but not so good for mold making uh, so so Whenever you buy your clay for mold making, uh, make sure it's sulfur free. Uh, this is a plasticine clay, it's never going to dry. And what I'm going to do with, with the plasticine, uh, once I uh, get the brick down, I'm just going to take uh, the plasticine and I'll take my sculpting tools and I'm just simply going to put a uh, bead of uh, plasticine all around the base here um, and, and just there's a that, that, that little that little cove there that's a, that's right at the base here where the brick meets the board just going to fill that in so that's uh, a, a flush uh, up and down there and it'll just avoid having any kind of lip or anything on, on the mold when I make the mold and uh, once we get uh, the, the uh, plasticine uh, around the entire block. Then we're going to put one more coat of uh, verithane on everything, cover the plasticine and everything, and then we're going to take the uh, the car wax and, and we're just going to polish it all up and we'll be ready to try our experiment. Let's see if this thing's warm enough. It seems to be. It's, it's dripping. There we go. Look at that. Oh, just run a nice bead around there. Come on. Yeah. And the idea of this is just so that the model doesn't slide around all over the place while you're trying to anymore just on 
plug that and uh, get up our clay working tools and just want to start working right in that corner here just fill that little lip in so that it's nice and flush and square and just work your way around around the whole block filling that lip in as you go I'm just using a, a, a small a small flat spatula and just running just just tuck it in under the cove there tuck it in under the cove like that and then just just flatten it out so that it uh, makes a nice vertical square connection there and then you're not going to have uh, any uh, kind of a, a uh, overhang or lip or anything because this uh, particular mold that we're making with the uh, styrofoam melting it down presuming this experiment works it's going to be a hard type plastic so there's not going to be a whole lot of flexibility so you don't want it hooking under the model because if it, it hooks under the model you're not going to be able to pull it off very easy so that, that that's why we want to fill this all in here and take you take you a little bit of work but it be well worth it in the end. Anyways, that's about it for today. We'll catch up with you in the next video. Take care. Have a good day. Just a little addendum before I run off here. Um, I found that uh, this uh, particular tool here, it's got kind of a point on it. I find that if you uh, take the uh, clay and work it in there like that it goes into that little gap there quite nicely and then you can take the flat piece and then just clean it off and flatten it out like that and that uh, tends to work a lot better um, now you can get yourself a whole set of these tools um, I got this set here down at uh, Prince's Auto. Now that's a Canadian uh, uh, discount distributor. Um, you'd have to look in whatever you have in your country, but uh, this whole set of tools here uh, cost me, I think, about 20 bucks, something like that. So they're quite reasonably priced and uh, happy, uh, happy mold making. Just take your finger or your thumb and just smooth that out and that's what you're after. Just a nice smooth edge all the way around. Just uh, put another coat of uh, varathane on that and we're ready to uh, wax and then make our, well, try to make our mold.